Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carlos de la Vega, motion graphic artist for the documentary 13 Million Voices. I want to be talking to you guys a little bit about the creative process of creating these motion graphics and I'm going to throw in a tutorial for all those After Effects enthusiasts and how to create digital street art. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, the golden rule of Photoshop is to never ever work on the background layer. So let's make a copy. Hit Ctrl J to make a copy. And from here we want to cut out Puig from the background. You can use the pen tool or the quick selection tool. We're going to skip forward in time. I already cut him out and I label that layer cut out. So we're going to make a couple copies of that layer. Control J to make copies. We're going to select the layer mask, right click and apply the layer mask. And we're going to go to image adjustment and threshold. Give it this nice stencil look. Play around with the threshold level and get the look that you want. As you can see, there's not a lot of details in the face. Depending on the image that you choose, you might have to repeat this process several times for different parts of the image. In this case, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do one for the body and one for the face. So let's go back to threshold. Let's dial it down a little bit. There you go. You can see more details in the face. Hit OK. We're going to zoom in and bring up the lasso tool, letter L for lasso. Select the head. Control J to cut it out. And we're going to merge the head with the body. So we're going to hit Control E and it merges the two layers. And there you go. You got a nice stencil look. Now, here's the thing. The lines are a little bit too jagged. And we want to make nice crisp lines. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use this layer as a template, as a guide. So we're going to drop down the opacity. Let's make a new layer by hitting Alt, Control, Shift, N. And bring up the paintbrush, the letter B. And we're going to paint over the black areas. This could be a little bit time consuming. It could take about 20, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Take your time. It's very important. And let me show you the final result. And I called that layer shading. Save this Photoshop file because we're going to be importing this into After Effects. Control I, select the Photoshop file. We're going to import it as a composition, merge layer styles into footage. Hit Control K to bring up the composition settings. Now you can see it's a small image, 655 by 416. So we want to bump it up to HD. We're going to make it 2997 frames per second. And let's hit OK. Select all the layers, Control A, S for scale, and let's scale it up to 150%. Shift it down. A couple layers that we don't need, and we're going to delete. So let me show you one by one the layers that we're going to use. The first one is the shading, which is the stencil look. The cutout and the original background layer. All right, let's make a copy of the Yaseel Puig Art Comp. We're going to make a copy by hitting Control D and let's call this grunge background. Double click. And the layer that we only need the cutout layer, so let's delete the other two. Let's go pick our grunge texture, bring it down, go to our cutout layer, effect, generate fill, and let's fill it with a white color. And we're going to use this as an alpha mat. There you go. Perfect. Let's make a copy of the Yaseo Pui comp, control D. Let's call this comp brush strokes. Double click. And once again, we just need the cutout layer. We're going to use this as a reference. We'll be using Video Copilot, the right gear collection. Drag it down. And as you can see, it comes in on a black background. And to remove the black, we're going to use, we're going to go to Effect Null Unmult, which is a free plugin from Red Giant. And it removes the black. Now the idea here is to use these different brushes, these brush images, and to cover up our cutout layer. You can go one by one, you can be as creative, you can make it as thick, as thin as you want. Janelle wanted to use motion graphics to highlight key moments in the film, suspend them in time, so to speak, and use street art, graffiti, and color to represent the youth and represent hope. Hope, because these artists in Cuba, their lyrics, their songs are being oppressed by this government regime. Alright, let's bring one more. 
We're gonna use this for the bat. Again, we're gonna go to unmolt. And here you can scale it, you're gonna rotate it, you're gonna position it. The important thing is to cover up the entire image. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate each of these brush strokes and we're gonna go by 10 frames. Hit P for position, put a keyframe, go to frame 10, put another keyframe, and then Shift F9 for easy ease. Go back to the first keyframe and move the image off to the side. We're gonna repeat this process for each layer. This job really challenged me because I didn't know too much about street art. You know, we were under a deadline and I had to give myself a crash course, study the works of great contemporary street artists such as Banksy, Mr. Brainwash, learn where this amazing art form originated and how it's evolving, apply all that knowledge and create an original piece for the documentary. And on top of that, add some motion. To see it in action. Nice. Looking good. Now we don't need the cutout layer, so we can go ahead and delete that. Go back to our project bin, go back to the Asil Pui comp, control D to make a copy of it. D as in David. And we're gonna name this Paint Splash. Double click. Once again, we're gonna use only the cutout layer and it's gonna be as a reference. And we're gonna be using Video Copilot, their right gear collection, their paint splash collection. And it comes with a black background. We're gonna use Unmolt again to remove the black. And once again, as in the brush stroke comp, the idea here is to basically use all these images and cover up Puig. They're gonna be rotating, you're gonna be scaling it, moving it. Depending on the image that you have, just be very creative and how you want the paint to splash onto the image. All right, it's looking pretty good. Let's uh, cover up the bat. Now you're going to offset each layer so they can splash on sequentially. We're going to offset the layers one by one. Nice, looking good. Go ahead and delete the cutout. All right, let's go to our paint splash comp, make a copy of that, control D, and let's call this abstract art. Double click. Now we're gonna remove all the layers inside. Control A, delete. Bring in the paint splash, and let's bring in an abstract image, paint image, let's bring it down. We're gonna use the track mat function and do an alpha mat to get an abstract paint splash. Now the beauty of this is that you can change the image, you can rotate it, you can scale it, you can change it completely. Uh, it's indestructible. The paint splash remains the same. You're given the flexibility to change the image. Let's go back to our Yaseel Puig art comp. Let's make a copy. And this is gonna be our final comp. Let's call this digital street art. Let's double click. We're gonna bring in our grunge background comp and we're gonna bring in our brush strokes comp. Okay, and we're gonna use track mat. We're gonna do an alpha mat. And as you can see, the grunge background, the grunge texture is being painted on. All right, now we're gonna use the stencil layer. We're gonna 
go to our abstract art. Let's rename that as abstract paint. We're going to bring that comp. We're going to bring it into the timeline. Put it below the shading layer. Color code it so we don't get confused. And the use track mat. Let's use an alpha mat. Grab those two layers. Move it ahead in time so we can see the paint splash being animated. Now this abstract paint, we can use a blending mode like multiply, put a color correction, color curve, so the colors can pop a little bit more. Let's grab the two layers, control D to make a copy, and let's bring it below the grunge background. And let's, instead of alpha matte, we're going to do alpha inverted, and we can see the paint splash behind the grunge. But what happens is, there's no distinction, so we need to create an outline around Puig, a border. So in order to do this, we're going to go to Layer, New Solid, create a white solid, hit OK. With a pen tool, we're going to trace around Puig and create an outline. Hide the layer. So let's just solo the cutout, select the solid. We're going to call this layer Puig Outline. Hit the P for the pen tool. To save time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a rough outline, but I suggest for your own version, you know, take your time and make a nice outline. Once you finish, let's bring up that white solid again, and this time we're going to do it for the bat. Let's call this bat outline. And again, use a pen tool, hide the layer, so it's hidden. Bring up the pen tool, P for pen, and create an outline for the baseball bat. Now, I'm going pretty fast. It's a little bit sloppy, but this is just to illustrate the point for you guys. Let's go back to the Puig outline, go to Generate, Stroke, and on Transparent. What we're going to do it now is we're going to change the brush size to 3, the hardness to 85%, and we're going to be animating the end property. We're going to be animating from 0 to 100. Find a frame where you want to start, 315 looks good, a value of 0 for the end property. Let's move forward one second ahead in time. Let's go to 100, and as this whole animation is being splashed on, the border is being animated on. We're going to do the same thing for the bat. Go to the Puig outline, go to the stroke, Control c to copy, back to the bat outline layer, and Control v to paste. And just move the layer in time. Let's unhide the layer so you can see the outline. There you go. You got some nice digital street art. You know, you guys can take it a step further. You can add more effects onto it. You can make it a 3D layer, add a camera. You know, make it move in 3D space. So guys, that's it. That's pretty much the basic of creating digital street art. So go ahead, make your very own version. Have fun, be creative. Amigos. This is Carlos de la Vega. Till next time, stay creative and let it flow like agua through Managua.